What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a choice ban Landorus team for ranked regulation F. Now when it comes to Landorus, its usage in ranked battles for Scarlet and Violet has been dipping day by day, but I'm here to showcase why this Pokemon is still a massive threat, especially with the choice ban as its item. This Landorus obviously has Intimidate as its ability because it's the best ability in the game with the Water Terror type. Move sets include EQ, Rock Slide, Stomp and Cantrum for two stab moves, and then you got U-Turn to pivot out. Absolutely love this move set. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. But this team also features a bunch of strong meta Pokemon such as Life Orb Dragonite. We're not pairing it up with Chen Pao, but still, Life Orb Dragonite going to be a massive threat with Inner Focus and a great move set of Extreme Speed, Outrage, Ice Spinner, and EQ. We also have Tornadus on today's team for nice lovely support, Sunny Day, Taunt, Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm. Then we have Arch Ludon with no rain. Kind of weird, no electro shot. You don't really need it in a rain, considering it can boost up with stamina. It has assault vest and then a great move set of Draco Meteor, Heavy Slam, Body Press, and Snarl. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Cresselia for support, and then we got Fluttermane for a big time special attacker. Fluttermane's got that booster energy with Protosynthesis, then a great move set of Dazzling Gleam, Protect, Icy Wind for a bit more speed control on the squad, and Moonblast. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Choice Band Landris. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and this is going to be a good test for this team to get things started here. Considering we're going up against a rather strong meta team. You got Shen Pao, you got Dragonite, on top of that you got Fluttermane, Entei, Ogre Pond, and Rage Bolt. Seen this team plenty of times on the meta. Trust me guys, it's really strong. But who do we want to lead here? We could lead an Intimidate user, they could lead an Inner Focus user, which would be Entei, and they could also lead like Fluttermane. But something that I'm going to like here is probably going to be a Pokemon like Fluttermane, right? Fluttermane's going to be super effective onto a few of these guys here. So getting after it with Fluttermane is going to be pretty massive for us. So I'm going to go Fluttermane. I am going to also just Intimidate. Let's go Lando here. Let's go Lando because I can also freely EQ next to Fluttermane if I Terrestrialize Fluttermane, say, into Flying. That could be pretty good for us. It definitely could be. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. In the back end, I am going to go Arch Ludon, especially with that... Uh, Stamina boost, they got a lot of physical attackers, and last but not least, Dragonite's gonna be great. You got Ice Spinner, you got a Speed, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. But huge shout out to the team creator, goes by the name of Kanto Clark, if you guys wanna check out his channel, and team more in depth, link will be down in the description below. Cannot wait to use this team. Hopefully grab ourselves a winning record, because I love Landers, I really do. And uh, with the decline of its usage, I just wanna grab some wins with him. But they're gonna end up going Ogre Pond and Fluttermane here, which is, Kind of scary. I might have to just U-turn pivot here, which might be our best bet, right? Intimidate's going to come out here, which is pretty solid. Um, I could just EQ and look to just KO the uh, the Fluttermane here. But he's going to be able to boost our energy and go special attack, which I don't mind the special attack. I don't mind. And you know what? With Ogre Pond being minus one on attack, I think it's safe for us to just go Flying Terra, Icy Wind, and just EQ here. I know it's not very effective, and I know he can just straight up IV cudgel me, but there is a chance it either spiky shields or swaps this, for this turn. If it goes for an IV cudgel, Lando might be able to eat it, which could be pretty good for us. It could definitely be pretty good for us. So that's going to be my play. We're going to Terrasalize Fluttermane, hit that flying button. Now I can actually EQ freely next to this Pokemon, which is great. It's beautiful. So we'll see what they want to do here. Maybe they might swap. Their special attack is boosted with... Fluttermane. So I'm really hoping that with this Icy Wind and this Choice Band EQ, we can just take out the Fluttermane. I don't want to deal with it. I really don't. It just seems like such a threat. So trying to just get rid of this thing. There's a nice lovely Flying Terror here. Follow me is going to come out here, which is no big deal. I don't mind that one bit. And Icy Wind's going to connect. Double one down. Speeds are dropping. I don't think Lando outspeeds this Fluttermane. Actually, it might after this and it does that's huge that's so big that's so big the so eq is going to be able to fly does it take out the flutter main it does that is so big that is so big getting rid of the flutter main just like that this little snap of the fingers lando's thriving out here in turn one so now they're going to throw out shen pao so shen pao could terrestrialize do we think it has flying terror probably not we're just going to do the same thing right makes the most sense it makes the most sense, unless you outspeed my Lando after this. Which you might. Which you might. Do we want to hard swap you? 
into maybe Arch Loon on here. But I definitely want an Icy Wind. And I think Hard Swap and maybe an Arch Loon could be our play, especially if they're going for an Ice move. I wish I had Protect on lane though. Because I'm just thinking, like, you might be able to just outspeed me after this. I'm going to go into Arch Loot on here. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to make the safe call. So we can have Intimidate for the back end later here. Ogre Pond is minus one right now. Shen Pao, nice little strong Pokemon. But yeah, I'm just not trying to deal with that. Shen Pao's going to protect anyway. That's fine. You going for an Ivy Cudgel here? I want to slow down the Shen Pao, but this works fine. This works fine. So Icy Wind's going to fly. I'm going to slow down Ogre Pond a little bit more. And next turn, I'm just going to pop a Dazzle Gleam. Nice little Gleam Gleam. There's the Ivy Cudgel into the Ogre Pond, or not the Ogre Pond slot, the Archaludon slot, which we soak really well. And on top of that, get a stamina boost. So Archaludon is here to play. So now that's some Gleam, we're going to get cooking with that. I'm not really too worried about um, Ogre Pond. So I'm just going to double down in the Shen Pao with a Heavy Slam. Just in case it wants to rationalize in the Ghost, we don't have to uh, miss our Body Fest. But how comes Follow Me instead? So Follow Me is here. Fluttermane is going to be able to outspeed. And chances are they probably just take out... I think they just take out Fluttermane with Ice Spinner here, right? Or whatever Ice move they have. No, they go for Sacred Sword. That's fine in the Arch Ludon. So you're just giving Fluttermane free turns at this point. Fluttermane's outspeeding you. Thank you very much. We're getting free turns. So Heavy Slam going to do like no damage to Ogre Pond. And from here, we're just going to rip another Dazzling Gleam. And probably just go for a Snarl just in case, say, you want to swap into Aging Bolt in the back end. If you have it for some reason. Snarl is our best bet. Actually, did we go Snarl? Yeah, let's just go Snarl. Might as well. Might as well. So Shen is going to protect here. That's no big deal at all. I think they're just trying to get out their final Pokemon next to Shen Pao, which could be a first turn priority Pokemon. Could be Dragonite. Could be Dragonite. So Ogre Pond's going to go out to this Dazzle Lane. We still got Lando in the back end. Everything is looking so good for us. Like I said, this was a true test for us in match number one with this team, and it's thriving right now. Shen Pao down on one HP. They got one Pokemon left. Come on, man. That's too easy. Dragonite comes out as their final guy. Um, They didn't Terra yet, did they? No, they did not Terrasalize, so Terra's probably going to pop out here now. Um, I'm probably just going to Icy Wind. Uh, am I going to Icy Wind? Or I just Dazzle Gleam. Yeah, we're just going to Dazzle Gleam here, and... If I can, I'd love to just rip a Draco Meter into the slot. I would love to rip a Draco Meter into the slot. So chances are, oh my god, I should have I should have doubled down on Shen Pao. What am I doing? I should have doubled down on Shen Pao. Because now they can E-Speed and Sucker Punch me, which could get real ugly. But yeah, I should have doubled down on Shen Pao, because now... They actually have a shot at this. They actually have a shot at this. Because I'm stupid, and... Okay, never mind. They didn't have to double down. E speed's just KOing me. It's just KOing me. So I am defensively bulked up here. Sacred Sword is gonna get cooking here. That's gonna KO us. And now it's a 2v2. Oh don't don't tell me. Don't tell me that this combo is gonna beat me. It's gonna reverse sweep me. Don't you tell me that. I have to bring out these two. I like the intimidate factor. Um I like this. Shen Pao can one-shot my Lando, which is kind of annoying. I can E speed here as well, which is good, which is probably what I'm gonna have the choice into. And I'm gonna free the EQ. So, Intimidate, going to Intimidate and Shen Pao. E speed is looking terrifying. You don't have your flying type anymore, so I'm just gonna go for an EQ here. And on top of that, choice into E speed here, just so I can outspeed the Shen Pao and look to get rid of it. Even though I think it's gonna protect here, but if it does protect, I don't think E speed can KO my Lando, right? I do not think E speed can KO my Lando, can it? I don't think it can. I do not think it can. I'm gonna be very upset if it does. Get a crit. You get a crit! You get a crit! And we lose this match! That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Because if you don't get a crit there, like I said, I don't think that KOs. And if it doesn't KO, then I can just freely E-Speed Shen Pao next turn, and I would have gotten off that EQ on the Dragonite doing a big chunk of damage, and it would have been a 2v1. I would have won that one. I would have won that one. If that does not KO there, we win that battle, but who's to say it doesn't KO without a crit? I don't think it does. I don't know. 
I really don't know. But this match is over now. It is over now. Unless, hold up. Let me E-Speed get rid of you. He's actually doing big time damage to me. Probably half of me. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. We're going to lose this match. After I say, come on, man, that's too easy. So I owe you guys a win. I'm going to be honest with you guys. That crit hurts the soul, man. That really does hurt the soul. So we're starting off 0-1. I'm just going to run this match. That one's just crazy. Moving on to our second match, and I owe you guys a win. I definitely owe you guys a win, but that Shen Pao Dragon combo is just ridiculous OP. It really is. It really is broken. But looking to have a bounce back game here, we are 0-1 going up against a Tornadus and Lander's team alongside with Rock Ogre Prime. Love that Pokemon. They got King Gambit. They also have Urshifu. And then last but not least, they have Fluttermane. I could go Lander's and I could go Fluttermane, but chances are they might lead a Defiant Pokemon such as King Gambit. So you might just want to save Lander's for the back end, right? Could definitely be good. So maybe we just want to go and Arch Loot on here, start stacking our stamina boost, and maybe lead it with Fluttermane. Or I could lead it with... Yeah, no, we're going to go Fluttermane. And then we'll go Lander's in the back end alongside with Dragonite. Yeah, because if we need speed control, we have Fluttermane for that, which is really, really good. So that is going to be my lead. That is going to be my lead. We're going to start trying to stack these stamina boosts with Arch Lord on, and then be able to body press, maybe heavy slam if they lead Fluttermane, and really get after it. Because honestly, Arch Lord on has moves to kind of kind of hit everybody rather hard, right? We got a lot of different moves. We got the heavy slam. We got the body press. What else we got? We got the Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor is going to be lovely, especially with the stab. But I just love its defensive bulkiness, especially with the Assault Vest on both sides, Special Defense and Regular Defense. So, look for a big time win. Let's do it. 0-1. Oh, Man, that, I hate that. I hate that we lost that match. I hate that we lost that match. So let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that ESP was KOing our landers without the crit? Because it did get a crit. Kind of hurts the soul there. But I think it would have been rather close. We might have survived on red. And if we would have survived anyway, we would have won that match. We would have won that match. So, let's see. Arch Luna comes out. Flutter main for me. And good thing I did not lead the landers. We're not dealing with that. So they get Tailwind here, they can start like iron heading me. That could be pretty much that could be a pretty big problem. Um, and I think from here we're just gonna start body pressing and terrasalize into flying. Actually, I could just protect this turn. I could just protect this turn and see what he wants to do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. No terrasalization here. Just a normal protect for our flutter main. Because I can see a tailwind into an iron head come out here. Yep, there's tailwind. Show me the iron head. Show me the Iron Head. Low kick. Oh, no. Not low kick. That's scary. We do get a stamina boost, which is huge. So with that stamina boost, body press should KO, correct? Yeah, get it on out of here. Okay, I thought low kick maybe was going to just one-shot us. Because low kick kind of goes off of like the user's weight. And Archer Ludon is just a steel bridge. So it's like, it's weights through the roof. But big time KO, we get rid of King Gambit. Give him my Landers free range of motion to just hop in here and intimidate but urshifu is now going to come out here is that water urshifu it is water urshifu it is water urshifu um huh what's my play here now could maybe swap into dragonite could stay in here with fluttermane if they go surge of strikes here into rain dance that could be a problem um i think we just attack i think we just attack and if somebody dies somebody dies i think that's our best bet I do have a Grass Terror, which is pretty good for me. Which I am going to swap into. I'm going to go Grass Terror here. And if I can, I would love to drop a Dazzle Gleam. I would love to drop a Dazzle Gleam. So that's going to be probably Grass Terror coming out here. Just so we are going to be neutral up against fighting moves. And we should be able to eat up a Surge of Strikes. Even in the rain. Can we eat it up in the rain? I don't know. Let's be honest here. In the rain would be scary. Surge of Strikes in the rain. Especially if it goes for Water Terror. Which there is a high likelihood. So we end up terrestrializing, and they're just going to go for an Icy Wind. Ooh, Icy Wind's scaring me. And what you got cooking here? Because I'm going plus two now. I'm going plus two on stamina. Speed's going to drop. Stamina's boost it. And he's going for a close combat, which we soak. We soak. That is huge. That is massive. That is massive. Defense dropped. Special defense dropped. If you're not Sash, Dazzle Gleam should KO. Dazzle Gleam, just KO that, please. No Sash. Cool, no sash because now body press slides over at plus three i know it's not very effective but still this damage is better than nothing so big time terror coming out from archer loot on here body press gonna fly how much damage is this doing nothing crazy but still better than nothing 
better than nothing. So he actually wind me down. We got Tornado slow on HP. I have Landers in the back end alongside with uh, Dragonite, which is good. So e Speed can take out Tornadus whenever we want. And they're going to throw out Ogre Pun here, which is a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. Actually, no, I thought it was the Water Ogre Pun. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. So from here, we're just going to go for a Body Press into that. And if we can, land a Dazzle Gleam. Or should we just go for a Sea Wind? Because how many turns are going to be left in Tailwind here? How many turns are left in Tailwind? Two. Do I just protect Flutter Man here? I might just protect and try to waste out some Tailwind turns. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to protect, waste out some Tailwind turns. So I'm going to go for a Body Press if we can't get it off onto the Ogre Pond slot. And then just protect Flutter Man. Because after this, I can just bring out Dragonite. And just send an E-Speed, take out Tornadus, and waste out the last turn of Tailwind. Which could be pretty good. But now we got this Pokemon on our hand. Which is going to be Rock Boy. Rock Boy looking rather scary. Rock Boy is going to get a speed boost, I believe. This is where things could get a little challenging, right? So we protect. That's pretty big. What are you going for? Bleak Wind Storm, probably. Can we dodge it? I see. Can you soak that? Can you soak that, Arch Ludon? You don't. I was hoping you would soak that, and then the Rock Move would come, or the Ivy Cudgel, I should say, would come into the Butter Main slot. But now from here. Huh. What is our plan? Yeah, we gotta bring out Dragon. We don't have Terra anymore. This is where this is where things get scared. This is where things get really scared. I have two flying types in the back end. We definitely want to East Speed. Do we Icy Wind on top of that? I believe we do. I believe we do. So I'm gonna go East Speed. I'm gonna Icy Wind on top of that. I know it's plus one on speed, but if I can drop it here, and if he goes after Dragonite next turn, I can drop it again. Have my Landers intimidate on top of that. We could really start getting after it. But yeah, we are we are not getting. They're not making a comeback on us again, right? Because the first match they had they had the insane combo, but this one's looking tough too. This is a good play by them. This is a great play by them. So let's see what they end up doing here. I Lando or what's it called? Not Lando. Tornadus doesn't have protect. We know that for a fact. Unless this is some crazy move set, but I highly doubt it. I think I only ran one protect Tornadus, right? So we get rid of that. Tailwind ends next turn. It's massive that Tailwind. Now I wonder who he goes after here. I'm curious to see who he Ivy Clutches. I would think it would be the Dragonite, right? I would think it'd be the Dragonite, correct? No, it's the Fluttermane, which is kind of smart. Kind of smart. Now Tailwind ends. He's still going to be faster than both of us here. But I do get off a big time Intimidate, which is kind of big. So, 2v1 situation here. I can freely EQ. I can drop a Draco Meteor if I want to. It's time to get after it. Intimidate's going to be big here as well. Hopefully, we can soak up a shot. So, Intimidate comes out here. Um, should I just Outrage or should I EQ? I can EQ next to each other freely, right? Yeah, two flying types on the field. So, what would do more damage? A Stab Outrage would be 180. And this would actually be 200. So, let's just go for double EQ. Start sending. Just start sending the EQs. Start dropping the double EQs. This is looking scary because I feel like this thing can one-shot both my Pokemon. It's looking scary. It does outspeed too, but again, Intimidate, big time plays for us. So there's the Ivy Cudgel. Who's he going after first is the real question. Lando. So he goes after Lando. Can you soak this, please? You do. Okay, cool. Thank you, Ground Typing. Thank you, Ground Typing. So double EQ should be able to finish this off. No problem, especially just, I was going to say, one EQ probably from Lando finishes off because of the choice ban. So close second match. I told you guys I owed you a victory. And there it is. We're now sitting one and one. Let's go hop to our third and final. Moving on to our final match for today's video. We are sitting at one and one. And I would love to grab you guys a winning record. We're going up against a pretty like wide variety of Pokemon, right? Cresselia, Ogre Pond, Incineroar, Gallade, Ursaluna, and Golden Go. So they could pop Trick Room no problem with with Cresselia. I kind of want to go into the Fluttermane and Landers combo for the lead. If they end up leading a Pokemon like Incineroar, we could just hard swap straight into somebody else, or I could just go into Dragonite for the lead. I want to go Dragonite for the lead? Kind of. A little bit. Or I could just go into the bridge. Bridge is a bad restart bulk in our defense, kind of like we did in the last match with Fluttermane on its side. That's not bad, and that's actually something I want to do. 
I'm gonna go into both of them, bring the Lando in the back end, and last but not least, actually, let's lead Tornadus, that's my fault. Let's lead Tornadus in the bridge. Just because Tonka works so well here with the Cobra Cloak. So I'm gonna go into both of them, I'm gonna go Lando, and last but not least, we're gonna go Fluttermane. Yep, that is our lead. That is our lead. But I just realized they have no way of stopping Taunt, unless they're Mental Herb on the Cresselia, which could be rather annoying, but hey, we'll take that risk all day. I would love to just taunt that if they're going into uh, Trick Room. So that's going to be the plan. Go into that. We have the bridge here as well. The bridge is going to be great for setting up its defense bulkiness. They're going to go into these super. Okay, so no taunt needed. We could just set up a Tailwind if we want to. I do like my typing with Archaludon. Team is going to come out here. Not worried about that at all. And I could start snarling here. I could just go Tailwind Snarl, which wouldn't be a bad play. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's see who they end up faking out here. I'm kind of hoping it's a Tornadus. Kind of hoping it's a Tornadus, considering we have Covert Cloak, but I can see it being an Arch Ludon. But if they do fake out the Arch Ludon, they just give me a free defense boost, which is pretty massive. Pretty massive. And then I could probably outspeed next turn, especially with Tailwind. I could see him swapping Golden Go. I could see him going for maybe like a nasty plot. Which could be tough news for us. But there's a Tailwind from us. No fake out actually comes out here, which is huge. The fake out is nothing. Snarl is gonna pop. I'm gonna put Golden Go on minus one, which is pretty big. Golden Go down to minus one. Huge. Huge. So the trick's gonna come out here and they are just giving me the choice specs. Is that what you're doing? You choice specking me? What you giving me? Your choice scarf me in this snarl. No big deal, and you're gonna take my vest. Okay, I don't mind that. U-turn's gonna fly onto the Tornadus. And I might just wanna swap my, my Arch Loot on here. I mean, he's minus one already. I could swap, now would be a good time to swap. Maybe just go into Landers here. Cause they're gonna go into Cress. And I'm just gonna taunt it. But yeah, I'm gonna go into Lando here. And I'm just going to hope that you are not rocking the Mental Herb. And we can just taunt you here. Because so I think Golden Go gets a swap. Arch Ludon's going to swap. And as long as this thing's not Mental Herb, we could be sitting in a really good position. As long as it comes down to the item right here. It's coming down to the item. Arch Ludon with the swap. We don't feel like sitting here with Choice Scarf. I mean, honestly, Choice Scarf. Let's be honest. Choice Scarf Snarl is not bad. But I'm kind of banking on this thing not being Mental Herb. So we're going to Intimidate up. It's going to really do nothing because both these guys are special attackers. And there's the goal to go swap as well. So that's fine by me. And do you go back into Incineroar? They go into Ursa Luna. So yeah, they're going for Trick Room here all day. You better not have Mental Herb. You better not have the Herb. You better not have the Herb that is Mental. Please. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. So Ursa Luna, the bear, is going to get a nice little... Nice little what's it called. Burn onto it. And I don't know if I choice into EQ here. I don't know if I choice into EQ. I kind of want to just because the damage output's so big and it's going to be really good up against every other Pokemon. But Cresselia has Levity. And honestly, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to choice into EQ here. And just start spamming this. So there's a withdrawal. That's perfect that we win this. Because I think you go into Incineroar here, correct? Yeah, Incineroar is going to come out here, and we are dropping an EQ. Choice Band, too. So even with the Intimidate, I still like the damage output onto this thing. They might protect the bear here. And no, they don't. We like this EQ. We love this EQ. So EQ's flying. Big time damage on Incineroar. If Bleak Windstorm hits, it KOs Incineroar, and it does. Okay, cool. I was going to say, someone dodged it, and it better not be that Incineroar. So we get rid of Incineroar. We don't really have to worry about the what's it called. We don't have to worry about Facade. That's some big time damage, but I don't mind you take out Tornadus. So now all they have left is Golden Go, Cress, and Ursa Luna. This is where things get a little tough for me, to be honest, because I'm forced to kind of go into the bridge here. Actually, I can go into Fluttermane, but they can freely get off Trick Room. They can freely get off Trick Room. I'm going to have to hard swap this Lando here. So yeah, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Because now the taunt is gone. They shook it off. 
They can easily protect here. I can't switch my EQ out here. So I'm just going to have to hard swap Arch Ludon. And from here, I mean, I guess we're going to have to go for a Moonblast and just start dealing damage on that, even though it's going to protect here. Ursuline is protecting all that. Ursuline is so protecting, so I'm just going to go after Crest. Maybe try to get a special attack drop. So now it comes to Arch Ludon. I don't have Protect on him, which is kind of tough news here. And now comes a Terror type. From Cress? Yeah, from Cress. I f you have to be protecting Ursuline. You have to be protecting Ursuline. So Cress is going to Terrasize. Just in case we had Shadow Ball, we do not have Shadow Ball, so it doesn't matter. And Ursuline, you're protecting, right? Yeah. That was an easy read on the Ursuline. Okay. But this one's still going to be really tough for us. It's still going to be really tough for us. Moonblast cooking. Doing about negative six damage, and Trick Room is now out and about. So Trick Room is here. Um, I think he's sitting here like, hey, I have to go for a ground move. I think that's what he's thinking. Like, I have to go for a ground move. So I think our best bet might just be swapping into Lando here. Intimidating. Right? Definitely our best bet. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into this. And I might just protect here. Or do I terrestrialize and play it safe? Because EQ can fly EQ can fly freely. So you know what? I'm gonna terrestrialize here. I'm just gonna drop a moon blast into the Ursuline slot. That's my play. That's my play. Trying to make it out of this trick room. This one's tough, man. This one's tough. Our opponent's playing really good. I think all three of our opponents today played really, really well. I hard swap into here. I get off the intimidate onto the Ursuline there. And we're going to terrestrialize our now Fluttermane because I believe there is a hot shot for them going for EQ this turn, right? You're sitting next to a Levitate Cresselia. You had you had Arch Ludon on the field who was weak to ground moves. You have Fluttermane who can't be hit by Facade. But I think going into this Terror type is huge. And this thing ends up going for a Swords Dance. A Swords Dance. That's a little absurd. And the Lunar Blessing, that's actually really smart. Now Facade can really just start doing me dirty. And his, bur his burn's cured, though. That actually makes you do less damage. We like that a lot. And it just pops burn again. It don't, it don't even matter. His flame orb just pops burn again. So now we're sitting here. He knows that we can do big time damage onto him. Um, I think he's just going to constantly loon our blessing. Which is a huge threat to me. I feel as he goes after the flutter main, right? I feel as he has to go after the Fluttermane. I'm going to swap Fluttermane into Arch Ludon because I feel like Facade is popping into the Fluttermane slot. Even though I probably should have just protected and wasted out a turn, I can go into Arch Ludon here. And we can just keep playing the swap scheme. He's plus two on attack, which is terrifying. And Guts is here. There's high horsepower. And why'd you go after Landers? What, you think I was swapping Lando? There's Lunar Blessing. We just have to waste out these Trick Room turns. We just have to waste out these trick room turns. So Rock Slide, gonna miss the Ursula, which kinda sucks. Doing a little bit of damage on the crest. And how many turns are left in this trick room? And honestly, I feel like with all these Lunar Blessings, we stand no chance unless we just get rid of the Ursula now. Right? Do we think he goes for high horsepower and Arch Ludon? We kinda have to hope not. Two turns left in trick room. Choice in the Rock Slide, we're gonna do this again, and we are just gonna go for a body press into you. We're going to hope that you're not going for the ground move here. Yep, there's Facade. That's going to KO us all day. See you later. You gone. You are gone. And let's see what Crest does. Just another Lunar Blessing. Come on, man. I can deal with this all day. This is real tough. Because now we can just freely go into the ground move next turn. And then be able to set up another Trick Room. Yeah, because the damage output is just not there. Yeah, smart place for them to swap Crest and then get Trick Room back up, but it's just Lunar Blessing is just a, just a problem. So I can't protect my, what's it called? I cannot protect my, I cannot protect uh, my, what's it called? My Arch Ludon, so we're just going to do this. I might go into a Heavy Slam here. Actually, I'm Choice Scarf now. Choice. <laughs> I'm in a Choice Scarf here. Chance Sorry just goes for a high horsepower or something like that. Takes out my Arch Ludon at plus two. Yeah, this one's wraps. Unless, unless, I don't know, he makes a mistake or something. I don't know. I don't know. 
Maybe I should have protected Fluttermane. Maybe I should have protected Fluttermane. But yeah, our opponent has us on the ropes here. It's going to be a 1 and 2 today. Another 1 and 2 video. We've been on 1 and 2 tear recently. High horsepower flying. You gone. Yeah, no shot. You survived that. No shot. Plus 2 from the Ursula the Bear. It's just overall day. And at this point, his, his Pokemon are at such high HP. He can just pop another Trick Room if he wants to. Just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So I feel like we played pretty well today. Honestly, we should have won the first match in today's video. But I feel like our opponents played really well as well, so we really didn't stand no chance. We stand no chance. They're just going to be able to pop another trick no problem and just stall me out with more Lunar Blessing. So I'm just going to run this one. We go 1 and 2 for today's video. So guys, 1 and 2 losing record for today's video, I feel as doesn't tell the whole story. The first and third match came down to the wire. Definitely could have went either way, more so the first match than the third match, considering they kind of just locked us up in Trick Room and Luna Blessing, and we couldn't really do anything about it. But that first match, kind of broken. Kind of broken with Dragonite and Shen Pao doing ridiculous things, getting big time crits. I don't even want to talk about it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.